one in the first test Marlon Samuels comes to the wicket with the West Indies in a spot of bother 43 for two too close to cut but uh, he did very well in the end there really chopped it away you could see that he was cramped for space trying to go for that shot but the result was good four runs Goes down the wicket, lifts it over the top. This is going over the infield. It might just be falling a couple of bounces before it reaches the boundary. So he's on the charge. It's 59 for two. Driven and driven handsomely. There's a chase on here. The fielder covering from the deep, coming around and just managing to pick the ball up nicely and throw it back in. Give this one a little bit of air, and that's what Samuels was waiting for. Driven through the covers with authority. 90 for two. That's beautifully played. No need to run for that. Just a wit, and once again put away. Well, he plays that shot exceedingly well, Marlon Samuels. We've seen him play that in, in the shorter version of the game as well. The cover drive, the expansive follow through. Lofted. And uh, all the way. Beautiful shot. Just treated that ball with disdain. Shakib decided to come over the wicket to sort of cramp the batsman, but Marlon Samuels was having none of that. Beats him with disdain over there. Straight over long gone. Well struck. And it's through him. Four runs to Samuels. Well, you'll get four for this. Not sure if there was any bat on it. And there was, and that's his 50. 50 for Marlon Samuels. Pretty well directed. Well, that's pulled away. That's hit really hard. Was onto it in a flash, Marlon Samuels. Four more. And in front of square. An appeal and no response from the umpire. Was there a bit of bat onto the pads? Nice shout, not a bad shout at all. He'll get some here, not sure if it's going to be runs. And it's signal runs. So, goes up to 47, Darren Bravo. Take 123 balls. Just get a bottom edge on that. The pace of the bowler just took it all the way. Swept, and that will be his half century. Number nine for Darren Bravo. End of the over, 168 for two. Beautifully done. What a lovely shot that is uh, from Darren Bravo, pitched up on the legs and just clips it away all along the carpet for a boundary. We'll get a couple here. Looks as if he's got four. Chucky not able to hold on to that one. It's the over. It's 204 for two. Only a few overs to go for the day. That's a, another elegantly stroke boundary from Darren Bravo. 
just been pulled away nicely in the gap but an outstanding effort keeps it down to a single end of the over it's 217 for two he's tossed that one up beautiful shot to pick up uh, his ninth test Big button fifth test match hundred what a lovely shot that is from Marlon Samuel. Good round of applause from his teammates. Well, he has been had a, in a terrific touch throughout the year. Appreciated by the crowd also. And we saw a century yesterday from Abul Hassan. Completely different kind of innings. But this one was a superlative shot to get to those figures. Just going across and smashing the ball through the covers vain attempt and that went racing away superb strike and a wonderful way to get to his hundred congratulations that's uh, a great great innings he's he'll be pretty happy with it under the circumstances and appreciated by his, appreciated by his teammates and he's beaten the bat just uh, drew out the batsman induced him into coming forward Lovely delivery from uh, that one turned. Come it's the on, turn that did him. Hurts. Once again tossed up and no worries uh, for Marlon Simon to go down the pitch and hit it over the top of the infield for a boundary to finish the over. 236 for two. Well played. Good solid performance. From Darren Brower and especially Marlon Samuels both taking their time and ensuring that they don't get separated at the end of the day's play. And at Stumps, West Indies are 241 for eight, trailing by 146 runs. But what a knock this has been from Marlon Samuels. He's had a terrific year, enjoying his uh, outing in the middle. 263 runs, four wickets. 100 of 3.02 that's what has happened today well this is a uh, have happened so far bangladesh uh, all out for 387 in reply was in these 241 for two uh 146 runs behind the sheikh abu nasa stadium here in kulna for the third day's play of the second Sahara Test match between Bangladesh and West Indies. Bravo's on 85. He'd be a little nervous and itching to get to that 100. Here we go. First ball of the third day. Striving for that uh, offside line. But uh, the Bangladeshi bowlers didn't get too many wickets, but they can take the credit for containing the West Indian batsman. Cut away and just eluding Mushfiqur Rahim there. 245 for two. Straight away off the edge. He's going for runs. Gone through for one. They're turning around for the second. There's a chase on here, but the ball wins the race. The 250 comes up for two. And that's a carbon copy of the shot before. Just dismissed by Darren Bravo. He's just been a little bit fuller on both occasions. And no problem whatsoever for someone like uh, Darren Bravo to put that in away in handsome style a beautiful player to watch nicely driven and there's looks as if that will go for four being chased isn't quite gonna make it but he'll get three and that will take him on to 97 West Indies trailing by just 116 now straight through the line of that maybe didn't time it as well as you'd have liked it's that inside half 
of the bat. A lot. Well, that's put up right in the slot. And it gets a treatment. It didn't have to move his feet for that. It was right there to be hit. And there it is. 100 to Darren Bravo. Think about coming back for two. Changes his mind. So test century number four for Darren Bravo. And very well played. Wonderful innings, and uh, that'll please him exceedingly because uh, he came in when the West Indies were tottering it, but they took their time about going about their scoring, and then in that fashion, he turned that ball around and uh, got his century, and he was delighted, appreciating the applause from his teammates and also from this uh, appreciative crowd here at Kulna. Steps out, and that's massive. What a way to bring your 150. Second six of the innings for Marlon Samuels. And when he spoke to Jeffrey Dujon in the morning, he said he's got his eye on the double century. And he's batting with a man who's gone on a mission. Fantastic use of his feet. Got to the pitch of the ball. And boom. Super shot. Can uh, hit those shots with immense power. There was a feeler in covers. Look at that stride in. Went like a rocket. Well, he's just hit that straight back over the bowler's head. Given a bit of air. Dispatch for six. It's 337 for two. In Bangladesh, as he rolls back and hits it away, gets it in the gap. So much at ease. All the shots uh, Marlon Samuels and Bravo are playing now. Ample time. And the results mostly fours now. It's just a hint that the Bangladesh bowlers are flagging now. Seen a number of short pitch deliveries. Samuel helping himself to this one. Ah! Feel. Touched anything, looked like it may just have been the pad. It brings out a little smile on his face. He's trying to tickle it around the corner as it goes past. Just a deflection of the pads. Swept round. Swept fine, and result is a four. Very worrying for the bowler. Goes back and appeal, and uh, the response is there. That is the first breakthrough, and it's Shohak Ghazi who strikes. He looks uh, disappointed, backing off, and uh, the huge appeal, positive response from the umpire. Well, it's Shohak Ghazi who's done the trick for Bangladesh one more time. But he looks uh, very disappointed indeed. He went up the back foot. Pat first. It's definitely pat first, and I think that's a very good decision. It took a little bit of time, but the ball just coming back in to the left-hander. Uh, not before that he's uh, treated this crowd at Khulna with a very good 127. West Indies, 369 for three. Shift under Paul, left-handed batsman, the senior statesman, on 38 years old, and look at the experience. Over 10,000 runs. I thought that was really well bowled. Trying to cut a delivery which was too close to his body. He did hit it, not before the ball had actually hit the pad first. 
Yeah, spot on. It's a 3.69, 3, and uh, it's going to be lunch. Bangladesh will be just a little bit pleased by picking up uh, the wicket of uh, Bravo. Otherwise, it has been all the way towards West Indies. The way they batted, massive partnership, but they just need to go back and regroup. 29 overs, bowl good over 828 runs. Shows the domination, and that little wicket that will keep the interest going for the Bangladeshis. He's going to reassess his targets. Is that close? Umpires unmoved. But that's a top ball to get first up. We know he's batting on 191, but he's just been in the dressing room for 40 minutes for lunch. And then first ball. After lunch. And that's a good shout. That is a very good shout. The sash has gone over the slips. Lazy looking shot there. Very fortunate once again. And it didn't go to hand. Well, I'd like to see how close it was to the slip cotton because I thought it was a lazy effort by the slip cotton as well. That's just so easily driven by Shivanarayan Chandra Paul. It's not going to be cut off. Didn't really look to have hit that very hard, just timed it so well. Alan Samuels on 199. And that'll be his 200. His first double century in Test cricket for Marlon Samuels. And he becomes the 25th West Indian to score 200 in a test match. Well played, Marlon Samuels. Came in, he started slowly, and then he's dominated from there on. Wonderful milestone completed with this stroke. Just whips it off his legs and immediately he knows uh, that he's got it. He's been waiting for it for a while. Not uh, too animated with his uh, celebrations, but uh, you can feel that it's brought a lot of satisfaction to Marlon Samuels. And there's a big appeal, but pitching outside leg. Not taken seriously by Richard Ingworth. Difficult to get a leg before bowling around the wicket. Ball will tend to pitch outside leg stump. Nothing in this year, but uh, they're uh, expected to tour Sri Lanka early next year. In February or March, would, would the international players that are playing this test series That's uh, swept fine and swept all the way for four runs. Picked the line and length so early, Shivnaran Chandapal got down on his knees and swept it very, very well. Rolled the wrists and he knew it was four straight away. You wouldn't, well, he's not afraid to use his feet, attacking fielder or not. He's gone down the wicket and hit it over the top for the maximum. Great shot. Lovely use of the feet. You don't often see uh, when the ball to go early in his innings and uh, using the feet and hitting the ball in the air. But he cleaned it up very nicely. I don't need to bother to run and chase that. Pick the gap beautifully. Moves on to 43. Lovely shot. 
Just a touch shot onto the back foot, finds the gap, finds the boundary. Nicely played by Chandrabal, just opening the face of the bat there. Saw that there was a big gap there. And that ball races away to a boundary. Chandrabal on 49. Make that 50. Almost unnoticed, Shivnarayan Chandrabal has come in. Taken 50 out of this partnership of 86 with Marlon Samuels. It's 88th score of 50 in Test cricket. Down the leg side, and that should be more runs. But does the ball have enough legs to reach the boundary? That is the question. Yes, it does. Buys. He's probably thinking around about being around for all of them. Well, that's the T interval. We're on day three. This Sahara test match. Well, Marlon Samuels carried his back through the day on 220. Slow going, just 93 runs in the session. And Shanda Paul is with him, he's on 52. Day's work for the West Indies, it's been a hard day's work for the Bangladesh team. It's not over yet. Behind that full flow of the bat, he put that forward movement into the shot and added some extra pressure. Not hit too hard, but uh, he's got himself uh, calm. A full toss doesn't hit it too hard just goes past the fielder it's just such an effortless shot just dancing down the wicket and didn't look to hit it too hard but uh, it was way past the ball and no chance for anybody the timing was impeccable good use of the feet converted into a low full toss and that's even better even better shot. Feel a lot of pressure once they come on to. I know it's a very good pitch to bat on, but uh, you'd expect the new ball to do something. That's exactly when uh, Rubul Hussain and uh, Abul Hassan. Inside edge. We heard two sounds here. The of an inside edge, and there it is. One is offline and clipped away, and that will go for four. Perfectly timed from Marlon Samuels. It's 5.30 for three. That's going to be four as well. Beautifully cut. Got on top of the ball. And cut into that vacant region of deep point. Who's on 255? Well, all that's 
speculation is now over. Rubel Hassan has struck. Alan Samuels departs for 260. Fantastic innings. Rubel getting one to just bounce a little bit. And uh, a catch finally for Bangladesh taking that slip. Short. Samuels played a little too low. And uh, taken quite safely at Gully. Elias Sunny, the fielder there at Gully. Been a magnificent innings. 260, and you can see he's disappointed. He knows he's missed out on a triple hundred there. But what a magnificent innings. 260.